Salam Sikembezi is a 48-year-old disabled woman. She resides in Cowdery Park. She goes alone to her garden because her husband is also crippled. He cannot move like she does. She has to fend for him and their three children. Sarah is the perfect example of the common phrase, disability is not in ability. Begging has never been an option for this hard-working woman. She is one of the countless disabled women who seeks to benefit from government and NGO initiatives so as to better her life. Zimbabwe's constitution states that disabled people should be enabled to become self-reliant and to take part in different activities. Sheila Mandejita, a caregiver, said she usually encourages disabled women to invest in whatever they would have been given. <laughs> Tineti kuru zirati wa sango miri la kupiwa fish, asiva ziwe kupiwa jirezo, kutiwa kone wita ma projects, katime upenyo wawo kutiwa rala mise muriza wawo. However, some disabled women say they struggle to survive because they do not benefit from projects meant to better their lives. Social welfare, ina nina kunye uruwa. Ameno kutiaka isa masego kondia na kandisaruti. Ndiye mwotu ya kutuondini na isa kutinuuti. According to the Independent Living Institute article, women are generally discriminated due to gender bias, but disabled women face compound discrimination by being both women and disabled. As such, Gladys Charoa in the article says it is important that an environment be created to support and encourage the participation of disabled women.